Hi, so this is video number two of the applique techniques. So, so this is a range of techniques that you can have a go at. Um, none of them are better than others, they're just different. So there's always different ways of doing things, so you know, find the one that works for you. So what we've done is this is the back, the reverse side of my picture, and I put the fabric that I want to be able to see on the front and I have sewn around the pencil line. Now on the first one I used a fine zigzag stitch, on this one I'm just tried out and I've just done a straight stitch so you can see so I've roughly followed the pencil line. Okay then on the back I have so this is the front if you like I have trimmed away the excess fabric so I've cut close to the stitch line but this is quite a raw edge applique so it might not suit everybody but I don't mind this on a just going to be a, um, a panel it might become a cushion or something I haven't decided yet so at the moment I've got two layers of fabric here I've got the background fabric and I've got the front so there's the first one that I did with the zigzag stitch. So what I've done now is I've cut away the back fabric. So on this cloud, the back fabric is still there. On this one, I've cut it away. So I've cut close to the stitch line. So you can see that now we've only got one layer of fabric here, whereas on the moment we've got two. So all I used is a pair of sharp pointy scissors. You can use duckbill scissors, but um, the pair I've got are right-handed and I'm left-handed, so I can't use them. I've tried, but I could, my brain won't, won't commute where they're supposed to go. So if I angle you down so you can see what I am doing. So this is the area I want to cut away. I've just snipped through and if you've got embroidery scissors or something is, is probably what you want. So I'm going to cut up to close to the stitch line but I don't want to cut through the stitches. Now this is best done flat but for the purposes of showing you I am doing it up in the air. So you can see I've cut through the backing. Don't cut all the way through or you have to start all over again. So I'm going to continue all the way around and then there's the first cloud. You will end up with the insert of that and you will take that away. And that's the first stage of the reverse applique. Now for the sails on the boat, I'm going to do it a different technique. So this time I'm going to applique the sails, I'm going to cut out the shapes and I'm going to stick them, I'm going to use some fabric glue and put them onto the front of that and stitch them down and then I can cut away the backing. So I will carry on with this, I'll get ready for the next one and that will be in video three. See you later.